Hey guys, Phil here at Woods Tree Farm and I gotta share something with you. I made a mistake. I might have completely botched my firewood sales for this year because where I set up my firewood pile is right here under all these branches and it's not getting any sun and I'm also at the bottom of this big hill down here ponds over there goes up the hill goes up on the other side of the pond so there's like no wind no airflow down here no sun for half the day it's late afternoon right now and you can see the sun is way over that way and this area has been shaded for several hours now so long story short this has been sitting here i've been meaning to do something about this for a while when i first set up this firewood area none of the leaves were on the trees and i thought yeah there's getting there's lots of sun getting down right here but in reality now that all the trees are in bloom um it is just not sunny here much at all except for for the first couple of morning hours sun comes up in the east over that way shines over here a little bit for a couple hours and as soon as the sun gets high in the sky late afternoon this doesn't get much anything at all so i really want to move all this wood get it out where it's going to get full sun the other thing i'm doing is i'm going back through it and i know this is like double work triple work and it's stupid and inefficient but i'm doing it anyway I'm going back through and I'm splitting any of the bigger pieces down into something smaller because I plan on selling just bundled campfire wood anyway, not wood to heat with. So smaller pieces I don't think are going to bother people and I'm hoping that smaller pieces are going to dry out faster. Yeah, so this is kind of a bummer. I was really hoping to make at least a few hundred bucks this year off firewood. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that, but whatever. It's kind of money in the bank, right? This will be, if it's not able to sell this year, it'll be available for next year. It's not like cupcakes that are going to go bad. So uh, follow along today. Let's have a little fun let's uh, start moving and splitting some of this wood again here we go so all I'm really grabbing right now is just the good stuff I've got a bunch of oak and um, a little bit of hickory in here, a bunch of pine in here too, but I'm going to be pitching that off to the side. I'll just let that age here in the shade for now since I have so much of the other stuff. Pretty much just going to chalk this up as one of those learning experiences. I originally put the pile here because it was convenient to me being right here on this road. No matter where I wanted to go in the property to haul firewood was easy to get to. Being up there isn't really all that inconvenient. It's just kind of up there in the open. Uh, we thought maybe it would get in the way up there for our tree lot this year, but you know, kind of evaluating all the pros and cons, we think it's going to do just fine up there. Fine. So this is a setup I did the other day. It worked out pretty well. I actually need to bring my tractor forward just a little bit more, but I can be able to just pull the logs off there, split them, stack them behind me. Over here, I've got another pile of logs that I had brought up the other day, and I need to root through those and split the bigger ones from that too. So got a little bit of work here to do today. Look forward to kind of filling up these pallets here behind me and just continuing to make progress at moving that pile. And hopefully I can get some of this wood ready to sell.
Well, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button just below this video. That gives a signal to YouTube that uh, you like this video, obviously, and it's going to increase the likelihood that YouTube will share this video with other people who like similar things. So appreciate those likes. If you want to keep up with what we're doing out here on our 43 acre farm, we are a Christmas tree farm. We're just in our second year of operation, so it's going to be a few years before we have Christmas trees available to sell. And we do lots of other stuff around our property with uh, tractors and property maintenance and cutting trails and doing firewood and doing flowers and lots of other things. As we grow this business from the ground up so if that's something you think you'll be interested in you want to keep up with our future videos hit that subscribe button as well So there we go, with the available daylight here tonight, the uh, sun is quickly fading, it's down behind the trees, and it's gonna be dark here within the next 35, 40 minutes. Got a little bit of firewood done, and uh, hopefully, as I mentioned in the beginning of this, this stuff really starts to dry out. Now that it's up here, top of the hill, it's gonna get some breeze, it's gonna get some sun, and I'm really hoping that I can bundle some of this up and sell some this winter. We'll just have to kind of wait and see. Uh, I'm not gonna sell firewood that's not seasoned yet, because uh, I don't wanna get the reputation that we don't have good firewood, so we'll just have to see how it goes. This is my first time selling firewood and uh, if I can make a little bit of money at it I'm gonna keep doing more because we have 25 acres of woods and there's lots of oak and there's lots of hardwoods out there that would turn into some really good firewood so want to do more of that plus I enjoy it even though it's really hot and it's really muggy out here today I do still enjoy doing this kind of work so that's all for today guys if you got questions comments feedback on what I can be doing different doing better out here uh, I'm always open to hearing what you guys have to say and uh, that's it I'm gonna wrap it up thanks for watching guys I'll see you on the next one bye bye